Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our series. So in this one, we're going to do go around the colony actually, have a look at a couple of things that we, um, we've we ton of camera. There isn't a lot, but it's, it's good to just have a quick summary and then we'll get right into it, what we want to build in this episode. All right, so this area, we kind of had our blueprint in already, I think, in the uh, by the end of the last episode. So essentially we are mining a scrap metal right here and then we do want to smelt it right um, right in front of uh, the production zone. Uh, the batteries that we have here, they have finally been started to... Well, they've, uh, we were definitely using them is, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, most of them are have dropped pretty low. I think, oh uh, yeah, we are discharging right now as well. And it seemed once we put columns... Oh, that's a beaver. And there was columns in here. We were blasting them pretty much 24-7. And also with the blank production and the gear production as well. The um, yeah, the batteries finally were being used as well. Because before, I'm pretty sure, we only had beavers in here. So therefore, they were only use, being used during daytime. And these um, windmills were enough before. But now we've had to put a couple of extra ones in here as well. And I think for what we do want to do is we want to keep building up our wind park. And if it's on the side of the map, it's not very, you know, it's um, it's not very distracting, I'd say. I think that's what I wanted to say, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll carry on building them along this way. And with the hopes when the wind does pick up, uh, we just want to quickly charge those batteries to the maximum or as much as we can. Possibly, of course. So that way, when there is no wind, these batteries should be, or hopefully will be, sufficient to keep our operations running. Okay, so other than that, we got still uh, 1.6 days until the drought starts. Um, in this episode, I also do want to start putting down or find a place for the terraforming station. So I think I was initially thinking to place it somewhere up here. But I kind of want to expand this pool just a little bit, I think. So yeah, we don't want to put it in the way. But here there isn't enough space. So what we are going to try and do, just a couple of ladders. Actually, do you know what? We are going to have to create a slightly alternative route. Because once we cut this, uh, it's going to be a lot longer way for the beavers to get around. So yeah, why don't we get these two done first? So then we can change it around. I have placed down a couple of uh, terrain blocks as well, as you can see. And in here, this can be very simple, sort of like, a, as I said before, a few production units. I wanted to have six metal ones running and also a few more wood workshops as well. Because now, right now we have a couple in here, but this is our gear production zone. So I would like to bring the wood or the uh, treated planks in this zone as well. So we're just trying to put this area as it should be. Right, and as soon as we get this done as well, let's uh, have a quick check again. Terraforming station, so this should be perfect if you get out of the way. Are you going to need power? No. Okay, so that's good. Right, so I don't think we do want to use this space for anything crazy. So yeah, okay, we'll, we'll be happy with constructing you here. All you're going to take is 30 metal box and... 200 treated planks. So if we quickly check, we've got 151 in the bank for the treated planks and uh, over 100 metal blocks as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, we're not going to skip tonight. So let's just speed up the time a uh, little bit. So the next thing we do, oh, we got some dynamite just in here. So let's uh, quickly get rid of them once as well. So there we go. Right. Um, I still have this sort of idea to get rid of the ground. And use it as a massive tank. I mean, it might be possible to fill this whole area up without affecting anything below here. Because what we can do is, if we're smart enough, this water could be mostly pushed to to fill this space in here. I think so. And then we could even, if it's a, uh, if it's problematic, creating this humongous tank over there, we could also change the water flow. And send you through here as well by setting up some uh, automation with the triple floodgates. 
Okay, so that's happening now. Let's uh, zoom over here. They've done a few more dams and levees, which is very, very lovely. Definitely going to hold a little bit more water here. And I mean, even though this is only one level, we're not quite ready to construct a lot of things here just yet. But who knows? So, okay, it seems you don't really have anything to do. This builder here is a little bored. Okay, it runs all the way here. Are we able to... Oh, that is the shortest route. Okay. Uh, we're not going to have range all the way there now, are we? Do you know what? We can actually move you even further away. So if we grab a... Not the district gate, but a district center. If we place you right over there... Okay, let's see what is your range. Okay, so now we are able to cover that lumberjack flag. Uh, you are District 11, so let's send those columns over to District 11. There we go. Oh, there's only one here. Okay, fair enough. Uh, on pause. Okay. And we should be able to delete you. Wait, did I do something wrong? Let's, let's try again. District 11... Go. Oh dear. Okay. Alright, there we go. Not really sure what happened over there. Guess I'm gonna have to watch the uh, the video later to try and figure out what was going on. Okay, so we need a construction beaver. We don't really need you in here. And you can now go. No, you're not doing anything, are you? Uh, we just... Okay, so this is highlighted. How about we give you a slightly higher priority? So we should have this barrel bot now operating from here. Okay, so you're going to need some logs as well. What we should have actually done first is give you a little, tiny little log pile right about here. Oh, but we are going to have to construct you first now, don't we? Okay, so why don't you hop into this one first, have this thing constructed. Actually, that's going to be pretty quick, so let's uh, quickly speed up the time. Here we go, 100%. And now we'll swap you over. Okay, there we go. So we're going to get some logs and hopefully be able to construct the time as well once we are a little bit closer. Okay, cool. So coming back to our main district, the farming seems to be going pretty well. Got some extra trees already growing in, uh, in here as well. And everything is nice and green. What we are doing in this section, we're going to grow some maples with the hopes to increase our maple syrup production. Uh, potatoes are, seem to be going pretty fine as well. And I think the next step will be to remove uh, these grills from there and relocate them onto these platforms. So we've got two running already, both making grilled potatoes. And we also have a baker here, which is now making maple pastries. Let's do one more in here. I think right now if we check... We don't have a lot of maple syrup, right? I can't really see. I'm sure they've already... Oh, there we go. Maple syrup, yep, we don't have a lot of it. Um, but we will plan in, not the farm, but the bakery. Okay, here we go. And with the axes, let's have a look. If we flip you just like so. Okay, it seems to have been able to construct... Oh, I know why they have... Just need another platform here right or maybe two who knows maybe all the way here i think for that actually let's um uh, remove planting on this zone all right we'll skip the night and then we'll be back in the morning and here we go so another thing we do want to start doing if we can find a beaver uh no these are all robots okay let's grab you over here so with the well-being in the main district, we are rocking 23 points, which is, uh, you know, it's it's not too bad. Having a look through what they are missing, it seems to be cattle crackers, and that's because we're not growing any cattle. But I think in the one of the previous episodes, I was kind of hinting towards an idea of blocking in this zone here and turning it into a cattle farm. Okay, so that's uh, that's an easy easy thing we can do or implement pretty quickly. Rooftop terraces. Okay, we've got a couple in here, but it seems perhaps it's not enough, or they might not also not have enough time to to um, go and have a bit of fun there. Okay, scarecrow, metal staircases. These ones are fine. 
Okay, monument is probably a pretty simple thing we can do because it only requires logs. Flame of progress, a little bit more trickier. We are going to need a lot more blanks for that. Got 95, I think we needed like 400, wasn't it? Oh yeah, 400 blanks. Um, 1000 sign points. Oh, okay, we can definitely do it, but I think we were preferring to swap these buildings over for columns. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah, let's... Um, hmm. Okay, we're going to have to hold on with that one. Let's grab another beaver real quick. Uh, so two statues, fairly easy. We'll get um, three points very quickly, maybe even five. Now, fun, carousel is going to require power. Mart bath might be a little bit easier to do. Less power, Lidos, okay, very easy to implement. And fairy's wheel, why don't we check you as well, because that's uh, from a mod, actually. Oh, 2,500 points, okay, so... But construction part is, is pretty straightforward. Not, not a ton of resources we require there. Knowledge books, okay, yep, I guess we... Good to that in here. Um, you are... Oh, you're going to take power as well. Okay, temple. Plus five points. That's a lot. And I think for now, we are going to put a temple in here. Yep, let's let's do that. If it gives us another point, and makes our beavers faster, stronger, and live longer, then that's a no-brainer. Actually, a little surprised by me how I haven't done it already. I think initially we kind of wanted to put it somewhere here. But now it has a slightly different purpose uh, as we go growing food in here, doing a bit of science on top of this hill as well. And this just keeps the, uh, this is like our little water plant or greening station, I suppose. Okay, so let's jump back in here, see the stairs are in place, it seems. Okay, so that is good. We are going to put a ladder just like so, right on top of it. Focus on this first. How are we doing here? Okay, so all the metal blocks are in. We are only struggling with treated planks. Okay, we should have enough pine resin. Right? Because you are collecting it and there are a ton of trees. And you're actually full as well. So that's not the issue. Blanks we have as well. I think it's just more about... Oh yeah, it's only beavers doing it. If we were to change it... Oh no, that's 2,000 science points. Okay. Uh, <laughs> were we producing some... No, that's metal. Yeah, no treated blanks in here. Okay, so that's going to take a little bit of time. How many were we missing? Okay, only 37. So perhaps it will not take too long. Ah, oh, wait. The rainy season started as well. I totally missed it. Okay, so this one's filling up. Let's uh, jump over to the other side. Okay, beautiful. So the water's coming in. And it's gonna stick with us once the drought starts. Well, at least for 10, 10 days into the drought. And let's take a look at you as well. So, where are you? Uh, wait a second. I think we've lost the column from here. Okay, let's call in another one. I would say, so District 11, wait, you are in somewhere, oh yes he is, right over here, okay, it's not showing up because he needs some fuel, alright, off you go, get some, get some fuel and then we will be back operational, alright, so, temple is going up as well, logs should fill up pretty quickly, we've used up most of the blanks as well, but that's okay. I think our stockpile as well. The tree farm. It seems we have been building and using up resources pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty fast so that the tree farm is now quite low. Yeah, most of the trees are, are now gone. Actually, I do see a few more that we can cut down if, if they can, please. We've got our platforms in. Okay, wonderful, beautiful. Let's have a quick look. 377. And tons of gears as well. Okay. Right. And you are... Okay, yeah, this is going to be rechanged as well. So I think what I said about the terrain blocks being swapped with the levees, or levees being swapped with the terrain blocks, um, it's not going to be a one-episode project. I think it's more going to be that over the next... Well, depends how long we play this or have this series open for. It's a continuous progression, really. And looking at our progress right now as well, 174. 
which is not too bad. Uh, we have also paused the dirt excavator, of course, because our dirt piles are already full. And how much power did you require again? Okay, you don't want to tell us. Let's uh, check from here then. 200, right, let's check the batteries as well. Yep, above the water now, which is very lovely indeed. And we do have tons of wind coming in as well. Okay, beautiful. Since we do have a lot of planks, well, for now at least, until those trees grow up. I mean, we do have a farm on this side as well, which is pretty lovely. But you can't quite reach up there. You, however, can reach most of below. So why don't we open this station here as well? We'll get the rest of the trees planted. And then we should have some more trees. Oh, we do have a bit of a flood. And I think I can see why. Okay. There we go. Yep, that's going to have to go. We'll uh, stick a levee in there. Fortunately, it's not causing big problems for us. But uh, we do also have a few dynamites here. So why don't we get rid of them? Alright, couple more. I don't think anyone's in the way. No, everything is fine. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. And now they should have access to plant a few more dynamites in the other sections. Okay. Happy days. Right. I really do want to get this built as quick as we can. But I think we can move on to a bit of preparation in this area. Right, right, right. So let's store a few logs. I think here for now is fine, right? Yep, let's do it this way. You are going to go right over there. And then what we shall do is set you at the highest priority. Same with you. And I think we're going to employ one of the columns. So that way we can work throughout the night. And for the time being, yes, unfortunately, we are going to cut down all those trees in here. Because we do want to very much figure out this zone. Okay. So this plateau, there we go. A couple more trees. All of you. Yep. There we go. All of these ones as well. And that. Oh, someone's already harvesting here. Totally forgot we had a lumberjack flag in this zone. And... I think we're going to change you over to a column as well. Just to get it done a little bit quicker. Someone's still out of... Wait, where are you? You're still here. How come... Hmm, we got some biofuel there. Oh, I see. I see the mistake I've made. Okay, let's put a road. Now you should have access. Ah, okay. Just a tiny oversight. We should be fine, however. And voila, we do have a temple now, which seems to be pretty popular and busy amongst our babies. So I think in the main district now as well, up to 30, that is wonderful, which means their working speed is now much faster. Uh, is anyone else running in towards the temple? No, not right now. Okay, if you're on 18 points, that's only plus 40. So having plus 100 for working speed is actually uh, amazing. Okay, uh, we do have the platform, but I think, yeah, they're going to need to go all the way just to have access to this roof over there as well. So we'll get that done. Wonderful. Now with the rest of this zone, uh, <laughs> we've got two grills. We do want to move those. So, potatoes no more. Empty the storage. What about you? You got potatoes too. Empty this one. Okay, there we go. Uh, two grills. Mm -hmm. If we had columns in them, it would not be a problem. But I think we are just going to need one or two more. So why don't we... Uh, I'm not really sure with the layout in here just yet, so we are going to do grilled potatoes and grilled potatoes in them ones. Okay, that should be lovely. I think we can pause the other bakery as well, and you can be unpaused to make bread. Okay, 
There we go. Very lovely. Uh, so this zone, yeah, we've got the decorations now in place as well. So that's, uh, that is very good. Let's just check another beaver real quick. 27, because you were stung by a bee. Okay, fine. 28 for you. What are you missing? Crackers. Oh, campfire. So maybe those four campfires, well, five technically. There's one over there as well. Might not be enough or you don't have enough time. And same, no rooftop terrace as well. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> you have access to the temple, which is good. And we did want to do those littles as well. Okay. Now, let's go. Well-being. Here's one. Okay, that seems good. Let's do a second one. And there we go. That will give them a few extra points. How many points was it? Uh, plus one. Okay, not a lot, but... You know, it's it's something at least. Right, so this area is now filled up very, very nicely. We do have to close this gap as well. So let's give you a slightly high priority. How are you doing? 191. Okay. Amazing. Let's get this done as quick as we can, please. Column only. And the upper zone is now being cleaned up as well. I think we are just going to open you real quick. Have those top trees down so you can go one level lower. Oh, we are going to have problems going going down, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Okay, just to help them out a little bit, why don't we put the stairs here? Just to give them a bit more access, especially to, to the column that's working in here. Okay, lovely. So that's going good. We do need to get to this level and I don't... I'm a little impatient unfortunately so we shall build some stairs over here all right 22 congratulations to us and we do another another couple of levels as well fortunately the trees haven't expanded too far well okay wait let's go back i'm not entirely sure how far we do want to expand here and how big of a plateau we want to create so for now, we just do a bit of removal. And yeah, maybe we sort of stay just around the, the ruins over here. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have to be too massive. Just a little platform here for a bit of housing to a, like a small skyscraper. So that way we can figure out a way how to connect them up with some bridges going over I guess here will be a good way to connect the both sides yeah and then disconnect the house from here I suppose I guess we'll see all right terraforming station five more treated blanks we are very close what do you mean okay maybe we give you a slightly high priority the haulers should help you out uh, you already have a priority you don't but now you do okay Right, there's another two two planks, which brings us to 197. Okay, so by evening this should be definitely constructed. We'll have some columns working here as well. We haven't produced any more columns, or have we? Nothing to do in range. Oh, you're saying you've done everything in your range already. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's fine. Why don't we pause you? We shall shift our our priorities just a little bit and then on to the other side as well all right where are you off now what are you getting uh <laughs> doesn't really tell us maybe fuel or you're gonna get some okay there we go he's fine now all right cool water storage is now seem to be pretty full so i'm happy we have solved at least the water i i can't really say it's it was a problem it was more of uh, how things get prioritized and and what they do i guess right now the holders have a bit more bit more time to do other things as well all right krill potatoes you guys are already full which means we don't actually need you working there okay fair enough let's pause these ones as well and we'll give you a priority just to take out the resources, hopefully. And once that is done, we shall delete this section completely. Okay, 
Beautiful. Now with the beehives, we are going to try and carry on with the layout we already have. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that means you are there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, next one's right there. And then this side as well. One, two, three. Okay. Right over there. And... Oh, wait. Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. And this one. Okay, perfect. There we go. And... Let's just grab... You are going to go right over there. This one's getting removed as well, which is wonderful. Okay, hurry up, get this done. And this one is actually a priority. Oh, never mind, we already have someone here. Because we have those trees next to it, I don't want them to expand. Okay, good. We should have paper because we are producing some in the district. Yes, we do. And, well, you look at that, we already have beavers working at the station here. Okay, which blocks are they doing first? And how much sand? Okay, so they six dirt. Okay, very cool. So I guess we'll just let them do whichever ones they want. Not really sure where they're running. Okay, grabbing dirt from here. Oh, they're all doing random blocks. Well, there we go. Yes, the first one filled and can't even tell. It's exactly the same. Yeah, that's pretty wonderful. At the top, we're almost complete as well uh, is there a chance they'll get stuck in here mm, you'll never know okay yeah I don't think we have to be too worried wonderful how's our power situation uh, I think everything's off okay cool so let us fix that or improve it yeah we don't really have to fix it because it's not broken just yet I don't think yeah they're they don't have the access. Hmm. Okay, that's a little annoying. But I guess we could do a ladder. Let's see. Right about here. And then one more on this side, I suppose. Then they can climb up, build this one. And for you, we shall give you a platform. Okay, there we go. This tree... Uh, <laughs> well, eventually you're gonna have to go anyway, so why don't we take those ones out as well. We do have a, another platform that I think we do want to place just like so. Okay, and we can do... Alright, okay. Uh, I think we... Oh, actually, yeah, connection-wise, we're still going to have to build platforms here, aren't we? Right, what about these arches? Would that make it cheaper a little bit? I suppose, but 300 science points, which we don't want to use. Uh, I mean, we could even just do one platform, platform, arch on top. Ah, uh, but then we can't connect the other one. Okay, fair enough. We'll just... Um, do it this way for now and if we check our stockpiles all right 500 planks already and 320 gears oh wow okay we might even have to get a slightly bigger storage here. so let's uh, check this out real quick you hopefully hold blanks blanks and they're empty you are empty as well oh wait no you're full blanks in here blanks in there what are you holding? Oh, okay, so you can be blanks as well. And this one is doing grilled potato as well. That's pretty far from the colony. It's not very ideal. Paper and other stuff. Okay. I guess it's more like a temporary storage for us right now at least. And let's see. Well, you have not built this one just yet. Where are the pots at? I guess... Oh, yeah. You were doing this one here. Okay. Well, that's fine. I think what this means is... We can soon... Um, oh, yeah. I think we can remove this one here already. And now... Okay. Lovely. 
And I guess the uh, side ones we can do once the the drought starts. I mean, there are a couple of sections where we could potentially do it already. Like like these corner bits here. But yeah, let's uh, leave it for now. So this is good. At the top here. Uh, I think we are also looking to do something similar. So... The expansion... <laughs> There are, they are definitely going to go in these areas. Yep, you can go out right about here. Not sure if you want this boxy looking tank in here or not. Hmm, also, do we want to make this side look the same as on the, on the other side where we shall have water run throughout this whole area? Well, there's uh, definitely a few questions to answer or a few things to figure out but for now we can do up or cover up a couple of these sections just like so and in here as well if we you know don't want to make those straight lines I suppose yeah we can do it this way as well don't want to block you in just yet because knowing those beavers someone is most certainly going to get stuck somewhere Actually, I have a feeling they might not even have access here. Oh, never mind. So we can pause this one for for the time being. Um, <laughs> so dirt, we still have 500 in the bank. How are our batteries doing? Okay. Not very good. Couple of full. I was thinking about maybe opening you up. Potentially. But okay, let's leave you for a second. We've got a few tasks in already. How are you doing? Okay, so the plants have been cleared. Uh, another tree has already grown its in its place. And you are too far. So as soon as this tree is gone, I think we should be within the range. So yeah, why don't we remove you real quick? And now access should be much better, right? Oh, never mind. It is not. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is not the quite red yet. Just a little bit. <laughs> so, if we bring you closer like so. Are we able... Oh, never mind. Let's delete you for a second. Okay, here we go. And yes, so you jump to the closest district center. Lovely. You still have... Oh, dear. Okay, just one. Pause you for a second. Let's give you two, just to be extra safe. Okay. Yep, things are fine now, right? You have access to the fuel as well. Okay, so that's the furthest we can go, which is fine. Um, <laughs> if we change the access, and let's say we go down from... The mountainside from here we could run it off a single district center right at the tip of this peninsula and therefore have access to the other sides here as well we do definitely need one more here to close up i mean oh no yeah we don't have access so maybe somewhere here to connect with our forestry district so then we can have dams to close off these rivers as well Yep, and let's see, now you have plenty of access. That should be shut off any anytime soon. Someone is out of fuel again. Uh, okay. Fine. I think what could be smart, I sort of... So coming back to this update that will... I, I guess it, it's going to be on live branch very soon. It would be lovely to have the smallest storages right now to sort of spread out along uh, among the colony. So that way the fuel stations or petrol stations for the columns could be, you know, a little closer to wherever they might be in the colony. That would be very helpful for sure. But overall, I don't know. I, I kind of like using the mod that we have right now. If I grab one of the storages real quick. Okay. Nope. Here you go. Uh, set desired as maximum is the one I was talking about. So we can have a multitude of resources and essentially have kind of like a hub of uh, resources wherever we need them okay 
seems the forest is pretty much cleared now. Oh, they don't have access up there, but we shall fix it. Right. Since I don't really know how we want to do it. I mean, we will definitely ramp up our explosives production as well. So I guess for now, let's put a few, few blocks in here. Right. And I think I do know we want to cover this area in here. Yeah. So let's say we enclose you a little bit. This is definitely going to be dirt blocks as well. Oh, you do have to cut down this tree first, though. Okay. Yep. We can do, do it like so. And probably... Yeah, this uh, this is not so bad. So the drought has started 20 days. Okay, that's uh, that's not too bad at all. I mean, most of those areas will be will be dry, and even if we had completed this dam, that's not going to be too helpful just yet because we still have those other other links in here. Right, and I don't think you have quite the range to help us out. I mean, here, potentially, but I do want to do it somewhere, well, at the end here. But I would like to maybe stop with this one here first. So, if we had a couple of dams, just like so, not the dams, levees, I mean. Four levees right over there. Sorry, dams. Seems I mix them up pretty often. Okay. And in here we can do three dams, one levy, and that should be sufficient. Okay, lovely. Let's, um, one more th thing that I do want to figure out. Okay, how's our log situation? 125. Oh yeah, that's, um, hmm. Uh, but I think some of those, um, platform, not the platform, blank productions. Maybe there's a way we can limit this a little bit more as well. I mean, having less of uh, storage units should help us. But uh, you know what? Just let, let, let's let them run. It, it's fine. Uh, batteries. I think power might be the only issue, but we've got a couple here as well. And we could do a few more. Thanks to our construction design, I think we should be able to just continue with them, right? Oh, no, that's a... Uh, Oh, I see. That's a little different here than the rest of it. And unfortunately, having an OCD means we are going to have to rip this section out, which, you know, it, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, another windmill has been placed. Oh, I see. We should not build them first, because access is going to be quite tricky. Even if we get you built, we're going to have this problem again of not being able to reach to connect them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So, I guess not to disrupt the stuff we already have here. We do have to give them a slightly different route. Okay. Up and around. That should be fine, and we'll probably have to pause you for a second. Since you are done... <laughs> this zone is pretty straightforward as well. Actually, what would have been smarter? If we did a double one first, and then a single one. Let's think about it. Okay, no, never mind. Let's delete you. Okay. And just like so, then they would have a, like a little walkway here. Uh, you got tons of resources in already, but I'm sorry, we're just gonna have to change you. Because, uh, yeah. And this one as well, so it all looks the same. Okay. And I guess in here as well. I don't want to have that one. No, we did want to have that one. My bad. Okay, so you can remain here, right? This is all good. You're gonna have access through there. This one comes out. And okay, we're lucky you didn't build this yet. Even though the resources were 
wasted. And <laughs> actually, when we start going up the hill, it's going to be trickier. So maybe I do a little bit of thinking around this area. Because, yeah, if I do want everything to be the same, such as having those windmills not too far off the ground, it seems it's only a block. To keep it the same around this area as well, we definitely have to change things around a little bit. I mean, yeah, we're not going to build them right next to the power lines. So that's going to ruin our, our plans over here. So maybe the power lines have to be adjusted a little bit. And this road, hmm. No, I wanted to move the road over, but I'll just have to do a little bit of thinking between the episodes and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, so they can't do them once just yet because we don't have access. Let's give you that as well. It seems everything is always about the access. Yes, indeed. Okay, get this one built, then you can move up. And everything else in here is fine, right? Yeah. Do you want to get the... <laughs> more treated planks, but that's fine for now. Who's out of fuel? You are. So maybe we do have to build a storage unit. Okay. How about we do one here? Set it to none. Uh, maximum. Where are... Oh, wait a second. That's not how it works, is it? No, we have to go to the science and to the biofuel tank, which is a little bit hmm, bigger. Okay, let's leave you for a second. We do have access now. They've removed the trees as well, which is pretty, pretty lovely. This can all be unmarked and the roads we shall no longer need. Okay. Now with the lands uh, landscaping, if we do want to be a little little smarter, we don't have to fill up this whole area. Yep, that should be uh, should be fine. What we can do instead is figure out how big of a platform do we need here, and just to the the outskirt of that. So if it goes, let's say somewhere around here, to the this will be like the the tip or the point maybe wraps around here and connects it up again and then we can just remove the levees have a bit of more a bit more for the water storage expand the green zone as well yeah and then we shall I guess we're just gonna dynamite the rest right aren't we yeah that's gonna take a lot of dynamite so we should probably ramp up our dynamite production as well but for that if we uh, we might have to be careful, especially when it comes to food and water. Hmm. Yeah, I still have to figure out what we want to do with this zone in here. If I'm completely honest. So, as I'm recording this episode, the episode that's currently out, or the furthest one that we have currently out, is episode number 10. So, I haven't actually seen your comments for the 11, 12, and 13. I believe these were the last few... And this episode should be the 14th, right? Yeah, I think so. So I haven't really actually seen if you have um, posted any ideas what we should do with this zone. And uh, I think temporarily I could expand this with a bit of farming in here. Just to make sure that we'll be fine. And we can have some uh, more water pumping stations somewhere up here as well. Although this tank in here, I definitely want to keep it as a supply for, for our main district. But in the future, again, if we do need to change this around a little bit, we are all open to ideas. I mean, it could even happen up here. If we bring the dirt over and turn you into a slightly bigger tank. And as I said, I think it was uh, towards the start of this episode, we could actually use this uh, side to supply our main district instead. Okay, so that's going pretty well. They are doing these levels nice and slow I'm thinking I feel we are wasting a bit of dirt right now but since it is not so crazy important okay a couple more trees but I'm sure they will be removed as soon as they grow up okay um, actually it's fine dirt is not gonna be problem it is infinite resource for us right now we still have tons in there 
and we can just unpause you and you know keep keep digging some more dirt from the from the ground but okay a slightly ep longer episode this time i think if i'm not mistaken uh, so perhaps it's time to to close this one out and we have finally started terraforming so that's definitely the 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 main thing i wanted to achieve in this episode and we've gone around the whole area doing some fixes as well especially when it comes to food and some well-being and as soon as we get 10,000 points which will be in the next episode we will put columns working in the assemblers once that is done we will further improve the well-being by doing some uh, statues monuments and some other things we'll just basically go through and see what they need uh, let's have a quick look as well before we close the episode oh there we go uh can't tell yep talked about the plans in this zone already that we could potentially do uh roofs would be lovely if we can place some more pretty simple as well right monuments yep first two are achievable although the last one plus eight points oh that is something we should definitely do somewhere somewhere in the middle uh but it it needs a lot of power so that means we are gonna have to improve our power supply a little bit as well all right fun carousel yep could also do all those things after we fix the power so what i'm thinking to fill up the, the batteries a little bit quicker we could also perhaps in in some strategic locations to some wheels and then connect it with the main grid here as well so that way when we do have a rainy season or even when we are dropping some water then we could get a bit of an extra boost of a few uh, of a bit of power okay winds already down so we should be training them a little bit quicker right yeah pretty quickly but okay yeah that's uh, that's enough for this episode so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one